Hello and good day. We are highly welcome. Overhead costing. Overhead costing is actually a particular topic that students find challenging most times, especially when it comes to the primary method, um, which has to do with uh, the basis of apportionment, and it has been so challenging to students. So what I really want to do in this video is just to welcome you to the world of the overhead cost and to give you the basis of apportionment. It is very, very important. If you don't know this basis, you can't solve any question using the primary method, okay? So you must know it and don't be scared of it, okay? I'm going to simplify it for you. Yes, with what I want to write on the board, you can easily remember the basis to use it at the right time in order to ascertain the correct answer. So try as much as you can to be attentive, okay? And watch the steps or the basis, the way I'm going to grade it. Now, it goes this way. We have some overhead cost items, then the basis of apportionment. I'm going to list the overhead cost items and I'm also going to write down the basis of apportionment for you, okay? So you take note of it and use it to practice. I will even advise you to give it a whole day, okay? Give it a whole day for it to get into you so you understand it very well because you need it, alright? You need it. So let us go. Here I'm going to list out the overhead cost items. Here we have the overhead cost items. And here I'm going to write the basis of apportionment. Basis of apportionment. Please try as much as you can to remember this. Huh? I know you are going to remember it. Now I'm going to give you a format for this. Okay? This is how I learned it, and I'm going to do the same for you. Now I have this acronym that goes this way. I have R3. Let me make it bolder so you can see it. You can see this right okay now here we deal with what we have rents we deal with rents rates repair okay as you can see rent rates repair all right then we have depreciation now this is depreciation of building The appreciation of building, that is for the D. L is for what? Lighting. And heating. Then, any other costs relating to building. Okay? Then, any other costs. Any other costs relating to building. Relating to buildings, okay. So, arrow raised to power three D L A rent rate repair, depreciation of building, lighting and heating, any other costs relating to building. Now, these things you have here, if you want to apportion them, you use what we call floor area occupied, floor area occupied. All right, in some questions, they can use M square which is meters, square meter, they say square meter, okay, say so square meter, all right, so take note of it, the second one, I'll give you an acronym that goes this way, IDAC, okay, IDAC, now it applies this way, I here means the insurance, insurance of fixed assets, fixed assets, D represents the depreciation of fixed assets. Okay? Then, any other costs relating to fixed assets? Any other costs relating to fixed assets? Okay, so this particular one, if we want to apportion this, we use what? The NBV, which is the net book value of the fixed assets. Okay, so we have net book value, which is NBV of 
the fixed assets. Please, you must take good note of this. You must know it. And I know you will know it. Practice with this video. It gives you an edge, okay? Now, the third one will have PC. P, this is P and this is C, okay? This is simply for what? Personnel costs and customer and, yeah, personnel costs. Personnel and canteen costs. Okay? P for personnel, C for canteen. Okay? Personnel and canteen costs. Now, to apportion this, we use what? The number of employees. The number of employees. Okay? You take good note of it. Then, we also have what? The F and H. F and H here, F has to do with what? Factory power. So we have factory power. Then we also have H for what? Heating. Heating. So to apportion this, the factory power and the heating, we use what? Horse power. Horse power. Or kilowatts. Or kilowatts. Then the last one, we have the MH. MH. MH simply means what? Material handling. Okay? MH. We have material handling. So we apportion this particular one using what? The weight of the material. Weight of the material. Okay, so this is just a summary of the basis of apportionment, all right? And you must know it. Please pause the video now, copy it out, okay? Yeah, so you must know this basis of apportionment. It is very, very important. If you don't know it, you can't answer any question under the primary method. Now, let us take note of something. You can see in the first place, we have the rent trade repair, the precision of building, lighting and heating. I want to talk about this, lighting and heating. You can see we also have heating here again. It is the same thing, but there's a difference. Whenever lighting and heating are together, you can use square meter or floor area occupied. But if they are separated, like as we have here, heating is being separated, then we we'll apportion it using the horsepower or kilowatts. Okay? I said if lighting and heating are together, we still make use of the floor area occupied or the square space. But if they are separated, as we have heating here, then you value heating, you apportion heating using horsepower or kilowatts. Then it, lighting will always be floor area occupied, okay? So, it is more like an introduction. Read on the blog post which you have on our website under the overhead course to help you get a better understanding. Then in the next example, which is the primary apportionment, I will make use of some of these. In some other past questions which we have on our website for you, we have a lot of questions to under the overhead cost. Then you continue to watch other steps and methods to answer questions under the, um, under the overhead cost. Remember, overhead cost, we have the primary method and the secondary method, okay? So we have videos available for you for the primary method. Then for the secondary method, there are three methods under the secondary distribution method where we have the repeated distribution, direct distribution, and the algebraic method. So we all have videos for you on this topic, all right? So do your best a favor to practice with these videos. It will go a long way to help you. As long as you are offering cost accounting as a cost, be it an ICANN student, university student, or a polytechnic student, you need this video, you need this basis of apportionment. It will go a long way to help you. To have a good day, and we'll meet you in the next video, the primary method of a health costing. Thank you.